Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be going over the wave scanning aspect of SynthMaster. So we're going to reset our preset here and go to our drop down menu of oscillator one. Make sure oscillator one is selected to wave scan. So wave scan is the ability to morph between two waves. So right now uh, we have a wave index and the number of waves. So with the number of waves at two and our wave index here all the way to the left, it's, you know, uh, our wave of number one and all the way to the right is our wave of number two and we can have up to 16 different waves so I'll give you an example of what that is right now it's a sine wave a very deep sine wave uh, we'll go uh, 303 saw no that's a different one uh, right so we just went random we'll note we'll load another random one to uh, wave table two and we can morph in between them so this one and this one morphed together would be this. So you take the sum of both and then you just kind of mash them together. All right, so we can kind of have more if we want to. All right, so right now I will turn on our filter just to get some drive. I'll, I'll open our filter. So we have some bro music going on there. I'll load uh, Moog. Right, so what we can do with that, with the wave index, something really cool. We can have up to 16 of these guys, so we're just going to have three. Uh, you can have this map too. We will go, uh, we will go layer one, oscillator one wave index down here you can't see it but the drop down menu is here i assure you the wave index so we will go to lfo1 and we will map lfo1 to that and we'll go all the way to right here all right so this lfo all right so i'll show you so the LFO is cycling through all this for us, and that's just a little bit of an introduction to uh, modulation uh, of any kind of parameter that you see. Right? You could probably get something with a bit more bite to it, but uh, that's uh, one of our examples. Another example is we'll go reset preset. That's kind of rhymes. It's totally cool though. Uh, we'll go something interesting like uh, that, I guess. And the second one will be maybe a vocal. So something really kind of weird and interesting, a, a weird timbre. And then we can have, we can bump up the voices. Go free. Right, add a bit more unison to two voices, detune and pan. Right, might not be the best example. We'll, we'll load a random waveform. Right, so we got some weird 90s house chords going on there, but that is the magic of uh, wave scanning. You can get some really interesting timbres. And, you know, to do that, you would need, like, a bunch of oscillators, and you have to run them through filters and such. And, you know, it doesn't... You can't really get that. All right, we'll turn off unison just so you can hear what it sounds like, or hear, see what it looks like. right very interesting it's just interesting and uh, that's why I'm a fan of wave scanning uh, you can have up to 16 and you can just cycle through them you can even have a very very slow LFO uh, with just a constantly uh, constantly morphing between 16 and 1 so you get like a really nice evolving a true evolving pad and uh, that is something uh, 
to be interested in. All right, I uh, hope you learned stuff, and we'll be back.